Good morning to you. Of course, the Commission has found that the Utukela District Municipality did not act in accordance with the Constitution. One thing that the Commission was clear on was the fact that the municipality itself failed to, up, to uphold and protect the Bill of Rights of those girls. And of course, with their act of only uh, um, awarding bursary schemes to girls that are virgins, the Commission found that that is a, pro a problematic situation which happens to also be an isolation situation when it comes to those girls that are not uh, virgins. And of course, uh, the Commission has also indicated that the, the municipality itself failed to put in account that some of the girls might lose their virginity based on any other social issue based like rape itself. And these are just some of the issues that the Commission put forward. But one thing also that is very imperative is the fact that uh, the Utukela um, district municipality has uh, 60 days to give a written reply to the commission on the implementations of its recommendations. The commission had said that of course uh, the municipality will have to, the, the, the girls that were awarded the bursaries will, uh, will have to retain their bursaries but the municipality has a responsibility to reverse its, its method of awarding uh, bursaries especially because uh, this is a government uh, funded scheme but however, right now, I am joined by the Commissioner Mbuiselo Botha just to speak about the findings and the recommendations themselves and find out from him how big of a step is this. Babu Botha, thank you so much for joining us. Let's just talk about this morning. The, uh, the, the, the Commission has found, of course, that the Utrugela District Municipality did not act accordance to the, in accordance rather to the Constitution. What is your take on that? Well, our take is that, and thank you and good morning to your listeners. Our, our view is that uh, these con uh, recommendations should be, must be implemented. We are of the view that the intentions were good. As we said earlier in our opening of the report, the intentions were good to deal with uh, early childhood or to deal with teenage pregnancy, all of those social ills. But it is the method, it's how the, the, the municipality went about uh, doing all of this. And we're of the view that they also sent a difficult problematic message out there that it is girls who must always be ready for boys or be ready for men. But it also puts the lives of girls at risk. So our view is that they have, um, you know, 60 days to implement, failing which uh, if they have to contend about or they are maybe not happy with it, they can only do or go to for a court for a judicial review. Mm -hmm. And of course, one can also argue that with most of these girls, like the commission, uh, the CEO had mentioned that you did meet with some of the girls and most of them are not against the practice itself. Don't you think now that the commission just stepped on a wrong toes or where the commission did was too harsh on the municipality because these girls do not have a problem with the system itself, with the practice itself? Well, our view is that as a chapter nine institution, we implement the law. It may be how they feel and uh, one respects that, but then you can't do anything that is uh, outside the law. Our, our litmus test or the guide is the constitution what does it say there are things that as South Africans we may not agree with uh, the things that we do but we must always be reminded that ultimately it is what the constitution the constitution is a be all and end all in this country it is a it is that all of us must um, go back and say are these actions unconstitutional? Are these actions illegal? That for us is the test. There you have it from Mbuiselo Botha. Of course now the Utukela uh, municipality, they have received the findings and the recommendations from the commission and now they just have 60 days to reply back, uh, to basically give a written reply to the commission. So it remains to be seen what the municipality itself feels about these findings and of course the recommendations. Let me cross back to you in studio for now. Well, thank you very much, uh, Neria, for the update. We'll check in with you throughout the day for further updates. ANNC reporter Neria Klakotsa coming to us uh, live there from outside uh, that commission media briefing that concluded a short while ago. The Virgin Bursaries Commission has now uh, given forth its findings and recommendations, stating that uh, giving young girls uh, bursaries based on the fact that they are virgins is unconstitutional and also discriminatory. Uh, that uh, 
the Utukelo District Municipality now has 60 days to respond to those recommendations. Let us know your views, comments. It's something uh, that South Africans have been very vocal about at 8 and 7 TV.